Hi everyone, today we are introducing you all to a completely new product by Craft Angles, which is Shimmer Texture Paste. We are releasing three new shades in Shimmer Texture Paste and we will be demoing them throughout this video. Now these texture paste come in a jar of 120 ml as shown. We will be using some Craft Angles stencil and some Craft Angles classic smooth white and midnight black cardstock to demo the same. So first we'll start with our paisley stencil and we'll be starting with the shimmer texture paste which is unicorn dreams. Now some of the things that you can use to apply texture paste are palette knives, silicone brushes etc. So we'll try and show you the application of texture paste through different tools just to give you an idea of how it is easy to use with variety of tools and you can literally use anything that you own. Now I am just fixing my paper on top of the stencil using some masking tape and then I will open the bottle of Unicorn Dreams. Now this is how it comes, it is foiled when you get the bottle, it is not open, all our texture paste are foiled and closed and once you open I normally like to keep the foil so that I can close it back again just to you know help with non-drying of our texture paste. Now here I am using some silicone brush to apply uh, the paste it is a fairly cheap tool and you can also use plastic palette knives metal palette knives like how i use or you can also use uh, prima silicone brushes etc you know whatever tool you have will work my personal favorite is metal palette knives now whatever products that i talk about in this video including the stencils the paste the cardstock the tools etc everything will be linked in the description of our youtube channel so there you can see the products, the link to all the products that are being used in the video. Now here I wanted to show you the difference between the paste of how it looks on white paper as opposed to a dark paper like black or some other dark color cardstock. So that is why all the swatches will be done on both the white and the black cardstock and at the end of the video you will see the dried results on both the cardstock just to give you an idea on how different it looks so that was the first paste and here you see me dunking all my stencils into a pot nearby which contains water once dry these paste are permanent on even stencil or on your brush etc so what i would suggest is clean your palette knives your uh, brushes your stencils etc immediately once you are done with the usage of the paste and if not possible to clean immediately just put them in a bowl of water so that they remain wet and once you know you are done with your work you can clean them all together later on so here i am applying the second shade of texture paste which is golden dragon what I would also like to point out is that these pastes are extremely easy to apply. You can apply it with even a thin silicone brush like how we used earlier. And you can also use a metal or plastic palette like how I am using right now. The consistency of the texture paste is going to be similar to hung curd and they are extremely smooth to apply. Now these shimmer texture paste does contain some large glitter chunks in them and that is why i would suggest that you know you use them with stencils which have wider designs like how i am using rather than a very delicate stencils they will work even with delicate stencils however you will not be able to apply the large glitter chunks which you know add an oomph to this shimmer texture paste next texture paste which we'll be applying is midnight madness and I am applying this through Argyle stencil by Craft Angles. Now as you can see right off the bat that this is comparatively a more delicate stencil as compared to the other two ones which we have used and you can see it is still able to apply. So what I mean by an extremely delicate stencil would be a very like damask uh, and you know those kind of stencils which has a lot of detailing in it. These kind of basic stencil will definitely work with these texture paste. All our texture paste come in a jar of 120 ml bottles as you see uh, while we were opening the packaging. So uh, once, so these paste take anywhere between an hour to couple of hours to dry depending on how thin or thick layer of texture paste have you applied. 
so i'm back again after a couple of hours just to show you how beautiful they look when they once they are dry so the first swatch is of midnight madness which is a blackish colored paste second is clear paste which is unicorn dreams which you see right now and the last one is golden dragon which is more of a goldenish brownish beautiful combination of colors so this is how shiny glimmery and you know uh, different effects does these paste give so i leave you with swatches of all of these paste 